are back with your weekly inside access with Cardinals Magazine. Here's Stan McNeil. Here today with uh, Mr. Bill DeWitt Jr., the uh, chairman and CEO of the Cardinals. You've uh, been in baseball a long, long time. Can you talk about some of your early memories of going to games or playing? Well, my earliest memories were with the St. Louis Browns because my father and his brother owned the team in the late 40s and early 50s. And back then, there were very small staffs, and uh, you didn't have the promotions and kind of crowds that we have today, so it was a little more of a casual situation. And as a little kid, I had a uniform that they made with the regular uniform, so I got to be on the field a lot. And players were always fun to be around, and they you know, sort of treated me as a bat boy slash mascot. So uh, I just kind of grew up in that environment and loved it. Speaking of that jersey that you wore, uh, that's part of uh, baseball lore with uh, Eddie Goodell, who, uh, as everyone knows, the Eddie Goodell story pinch hit for the Browns one day. I'm not sure everybody knows that that was your jersey that, that, in that famous photo that has the, the one eighth number on it. Uh, can you talk a little bit about how you gave up that jersey and what happened after that game? Yeah, that, it's turned out to be a pretty iconic jersey because. That's the only time in history that it happened, and they changed the rule after that that you couldn't uh, sign someone just because of their size if they really weren't a, uh, you know, a legitimate ball player. But uh, Bill Beck did all kinds of stunts and things to try to improve attendance for the Browns back in that era. And I had the only uniform that could come close to fitting Eddie Goodell. And still was a little large on him, though, but uh, I think I was nine years old at the time. And they said to me about a week before this was going to happen, we need your uniform and we're going to put a different number on it, uh, one eighth. And, uh, but once, once the game's over, you'll get it back. So, uh, of course, I was there and saw what happened. It was uh, Eddie Goodell popped out of a cake between games of a doubleheader. And then he went up and pinch hit for Frank Sauchet. Bobby Kane pitched and walked him on four pitches. So. It was uh, pretty funny. I think the fans got a kick out of it. And Eddie Goodell's uh, history lives on. Did you wear that jersey after that at all, or did it go immediately to the Hall of Fame? You know, I wore it a little bit, but uh, it didn't go immediately to the Hall of Fame. I had it the whole time until Bill Beck was inducted into the Hall of Fame, and they were looking for something that represented his career because he obviously didn't play and didn't have any other artifacts, really. And, they thought this was the one thing that would symbolize what Bill Beck uh, did for baseball. He really made the game fun and interesting. And, um, so I loaned it to the Hall of Fame for a number of years. Then when we opened up our Hall of Fame, we wanted to celebrate not just the Cardinals history, but St. Louis baseball history. Uh, and the Browns were a key part of that. So that's where it now is. Did you grow up a Browns fan then? Browns fan and a Cardinals fan. Uh, we used to go to Cardinals games uh, and Browns games. So if you lived in St. Louis, you, you were for both of them. But I saw more Browns games growing up than I did Cardinals games. Uh, my father worked for the Cardinals for, I think, 20 years. And so he had that great Cardinals history and legacy and was there for a number of championships, uh, the first one in 26. Uh, and through the great Ricky years, so that was great experience for him. So what do you remember about Old Sportsman's Park? Remember that pavilion in right field and, uh, you know, balls that would hit it would get a big black smudge on it because it was like it had like a tar top to it. And there was a ball that uh, had been autographed. I can't remember who signed it, some, you know, impressive figure, and it was for sale, and it had a black spot on it. And, Somebody said, I wonder why it's got that black spot on it. I said, I can tell you why. It was probably, it was either a home run or it was hit in batting practice. It hit the top of the pavilion there, and the, every time a ball hit there, it had a black spot on it. So, uh, you know, I remember that. And uh, there was a screen out there uh, that uh, had that not been there. I don't know how many home runs Stan Mills would have hit. But uh, it was a great park, close to the action, and uh, just a lot of fun.